Hi, today I've decided to make leek and potato soup. Okay, this is great. I don't even have to mess around with a knife. It works so good. I was like, two leeks, gotta cut them up, wanna do them evenly, how am I gonna go about this? Guess what? I was wondering if it would work on these leaves. There is a little pusher here that I can start using as it goes. <laughs> That's pretty good, I have to say. I'm quite impressed. Now I have a onion I'm going to prep and there's some little blades here, right here, that I can bring up, which is now going to give me a somewhat shredded onion. Look at that, a few pieces left. I don't know if I showed you or not, but I have a container where I'm keeping ends of things that I have left over from the from the mandolin and the uh, different projects I've done and I will use it for a soup or a, in a soup or a stew. So let's see, how do we look? Oh, look at that. Wow, that made quick work of my required ingredients. And all I have to do is rinse this under hot water and I'm done. So now I'm going to get ready to prep potatoes. Voila! I've never used this machine before. I've never had a French fry cutter and my spidey senses, Rhonda on the fly said, why can't we make eight ounces of cubed potatoes using a French fry cutter? And that's what we just did. One tablespoon of cooking oil, one onion sliced, eight ounces of potatoes, two leeks it asks for cream i don't have it i am going to use yogurt some a half a cup of yogurt a liter of veggie broth some himalayan salt and some pepper to taste i'm turning on the ninja going into saute or sear i would like medium and start Today it's coconut oil, add the onions. This is one, I would say fairly large onion. Two leeks. And eight ounces of potato. So we're gonna saute this for a bit and then we'll take it to the next stage. Give this a stir and see how we're doing. I got the dishes done while this was heating up. Oh, it's looking good already. And that's only on a medium heat. I'm so, 
If you wanted to get it going faster, of course, you could have the temperature higher. I'm now going to add the vegetable broth. Okay, now, we're now I'm going to add Himalayan salt to taste. And I'm gonna put a little more in there. Got lots of vegetables and some pepper. Wow, different, no onion today, or I mean, sorry, no garlic today. That's different. Give it a stir, turn uh, the valve toward the pressure cook. Okay, so turn it on, pressure cook, high, 10 minutes on. We're gonna be waiting for this red valve to come up, which means it's come up to a certain pressure and then it continues to build pressure and once it gets to the correct temperature in pressure the timer will then tie a uh, countdown from 10. okay so we're done and now i want to do a quick quick release and i'm gonna reach over and the pins drop i'm opening the lid bring it over You can still see it bubbling and boiling away. Oh, I've decided to transfer the leek soup into a con glass container so that if I want to heat up my soup later, I can. Because I want to make a carrot cake in the Ninja today. It's called Aloha Carrot Cake. So I need my pot to be able to do my next recipe. I can see that having two pots for the Ninja would be advantageous. I believe this is cool enough now to take it to the final stage. It says to add a half a cup of cream. I'm adding yogurt plain yogurt as i don't have cream in the house so if you have cream use cream if not i would use sour cream or yogurt or whatever so we're supposed to puree this mixture <laughs> Is it a do-over? Most definitely. Oh, why haven't I made this before? This is amazing. You got to try this. So easy to make and so tasty. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, Hope to see you later today as I'm doing Aloha Carrot Cake in the foodie for dessert. Please keep coming back as I'm going to do more.